Hello again my friends, thanks to Bungie Day we now know that Destiny comes in four distinct flavours. We have the standard edition of the game, the limited edition, the ghost edition and the digital guardian edition. And just in case you were wondering, yes all these editions are available on all four console platforms. PS4 as you can see here, PS3, Xbox One and Xbox 360 and this video will look at the contents of each of these collectors editions in detail. First up we have the Digital Guardian edition. This costs $89.99 in the US and $84.99 in the UK. Here's how Bungie describes this edition. Destiny is a next generation first person shooter with rich cinematic storytelling set in huge worlds to explore. Create and customize your guardian, defeat your enemies, become legend in intense cooperative, competitive and innovative public gameplay modes. And here's what you get with this edition. First up, a digital download of Destiny. You also get the Destiny Expansion Pass, which allows you to expand your Destiny adventure with brand new story missions, cooperative activities, competitive multiplayer arenas, and a wealth of all new weapons, armor, and gear to earn. The Destiny Expansion Pass includes Destiny Expansion 1, The Dark Below, and Destiny Expansion 2, House of Wolves. Now, in The Dark Below, you'll discover an ancient tomb has been unsealed. Beneath the surface of the moon, a dark god has answered centuries of prayer, and a dark army has risen. In this expansion, you'll explore the true depths of Hellmouth. Your mission to stop the Dark Hive ritual and survive. Now, details for Expansion 2 House of Wolves have yet to be revealed, and it's worth noting too that PlayStation consoles will also include additional exclusive content for both of these expansions, and they will remain exclusive until at least fall of 2015. What exactly this additional exclusive content is has yet to be revealed. Now, you also get three exclusive in game items with the Digital Guardian Edition you get a unique ship skin you get this vanguard on a player emblem and you get this cool frontier ghost shell. It's described as tough, rugged and defiantly coloured, ready to brave the high frontier. And as you can see here, your exclusive ghost skin will appear in cutscenes and can be seen by any other player whenever you whip it out to call in your sparrow, mark a navigation point or hack a machine. And finally, you also get early access to the vanguard armoury. Now high above the city in the Hall of Guardians, the vanguard keep watch over guardians in the wild, arming the best warriors with the upgraded weapons they need to destroy our most dangerous enemies. With the Digital Guardian Edition, you get early access to Vanguard weapons and gear, and we're going to look at every single one of them right now. But before we do, it's worth noting that access to the Vanguard Armoury can also be attained through gameplay. So then, first up, we're going to start with the Vanguard helmets that you get early access to. This is the Agama White Titan Helmet. This is the Stratus White Hunter Helmet and this is the Chroma White Warlock Helmet. All of these helmets were donated by generous guardians for the use of their newly reborn brethren. And now we're going to look at all the Vanguard weapons that you'll get early access to with the Digital Guardian Edition. First up, the Pekka Dillo's Grace Hand Cannon, a flexible Vanguard issue hand cannon, its performance retuned by an Exos Bayesian Profiler. Next up, the BTRD-345 Machine Gun. This is a multi-role Vanguard machine gun. The serial number memorializes the number of kills the prototype scored in field tests. This is the Trifecta S.2 Pulse Rifle, an accurized Vanguard issue pulse rifle stripped and rebuilt with tight tolerances for long range engagements. Next up we have the Singularity S.3 Scout Rifle, an accurized Vanguard issue scout rifle harmonically tuned for precision fire. And here we have the SG Scattershot Shotgun, thoroughly tested and completely reliable. Next up we have the 1309 8V Incognito Sniper Rifle, a flexible Vanguard issue sniper rifle that uses nano lathe components to improve design tolerances. This is the Carte Blanche S.1 Auto Rifle, an accurized Vanguard issue auto rifle designed for performance at long range. Range. Next up, the SK-5 Type Null Fusion Rifle, a multi-role Vanguard issue fusion rifle modified for enhanced performance. And finally, the Harbinger Rocket Launcher, a general purpose Vanguard issue rocket launcher. So then, why should you buy the Digital Guardian Edition? Well, if you're the kind of gamer who's decided to go all digital, this is a great choice. However, if like me, you want a physical copy of the game and all the cool goodies that come with the Limited and Ghost Edition, well, you're better off leaving this one alone and paying a little extra for the other editions. So then, let's now have a look at the limited edition of Destiny. This costs $99.99 in the US and $94.99 in the UK. And here's how Bungie describes this particular edition. Humanity has been searching the ruins of our golden age for guardians, heroes capable of wielding light as a weapon. You have just been found and given a vital 
mission, defend our home, drive back the forces of darkness, find a way to awaken the traveller and become legend. And here's what you get with this edition. Firstly you get the expansion pass and the three exclusive in-game items, the ship skin, the vanguard on a player emblem and the frontier ghost shell that I described in the digital guardian edition and you also get all these extras too. You get this limited edition steelbook case and game disc, you get this guardian folio, you get this arms and armament field guide, these postcards from the golden age and this cool antique star chart. Now if you want early access to the Vanguard Armoury as described in the Digital Guardian edition you actually need to pre-order this limited edition from participating retailers. It doesn't come included in the package like it does with the Digital Guardian edition. So then why should you purchase this particular edition? Well you get all the cool stuff I mentioned for under $100. Yes it's more expensive for UK gamers but it's still more affordable than the Ghost edition. But if you want everything Bungie has to offer I'd suggest saving a few more dollars and pounds and going for the ghost edition. So then here it is, the ghost edition aka the sweet lord give it to me now edition. This costs $149.99 in the US and $149.99 in the UK and here's how Bungie describes this particular edition. This is your ghost. It sought you out for centuries. It found you dead and forgotten in the ruins of our civilization's violent collapse and it brought you back to life to protect us all, defend our home, drive back the forces of darkness, find a way to awaken the traveller and become effing legend, you bastards. I added that end bit in myself. And here's what you get in this edition. Firstly, you get everything I mentioned in the limited edition. Again, if you want early access to the Vanguard Armoury, you need to pre-order this edition from participating retailers. It doesn't come included in the package like it does with the Digital Guardian edition. So then, as well as everything mentioned in the limited edition, you also get these Golden Age relics, which include a patch, sticker, and two chrome slides of the Traveller. And best of all, it comes with this motion-sensing ghost replica, featuring lights and audio from the game. Yes, it's voiced by the Alton Peter Dinklage and it can detect whenever you enter the room. This thing is going to be my new best friend. I'm going to talk to it, I'm going to kiss it, I'm probably going to lick it too. I mean look at the cute little bastard. So then, why should you buy the ghost edition? Well for starters, it has an effing ghost, an actual replica ghost that talks and lights up and you can lick it too but guys you best be quick. Bungie recently tweeted this, rumour has it that sightings of the Destiny Ghost Edition are becoming rare. Got yours? That's right the Ghost Edition is selling out fast and this isn't just hype to help shift units. I actually conducted a little Twitter poll of my own asking which Destiny Collector's Edition you guys are going to purchase. Over a thousand of you voted and 50% of you are getting the Ghost Edition. Now this poll is still going so feel free to vote, I've left a link to it in the description box below. And that's not all, now many of you guys are buying the standard edition of the game and many of you have asked me whether or not you can buy the expansion pass separately and the answer is yes. Now you have two choices, you can buy the expansion pass which includes both expansion 1 and 2 for $34.99 or you can buy them individually for $19.99 each. Now you make a saving of $4.99 if you buy them both together so I'd advise doing that. These prices apply to both USA and UK. Now many of you guys have also asked me whether or not you can upgrade to one of the collector's editions if you've already pre-ordered the standard edition and again the answer is yes. If they're a participating retailer or online service contact them and let them know. I've spoken to lots of people who've done exactly that. If in doubt, contact them and ask, they'll soon put you straight. And if you've yet to pre-order, I've left some useful links in the description box below, so be sure to check them out. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. I'll leave you with this cool little unboxing teaser.
Hello again my friends, really glad to see you made it beyond the boom. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, if we can get to 5,000 likes that would blow my effing mind and show me that you guys like these longer breakdown videos. And if you're new to this channel, welcome my friend and don't forget to subscribe for daily Destiny content. Also, I recently tweeted this, 40 gigabyte hard drive storage or its equivalent is required for Destiny. Additional storage may be required for some updates and features. Now this was found on PlayStation's PSN store but I'm guessing this also also applies to Xbox and yes I know it's a whopping amount of space so you may need to start deleting some games but it's also a nice indication of just how big this game is going to be. If you'd like to keep bang up to date with daily Destiny info as it breaks follow me on Twitter. You'll find the link in the description box below. And just so you guys know, I have loads more Destiny content planned for you leading up to the beta and beyond. And I also wanted to take this time to thank you guys for your continued support on my content. It daily blows my mind just how much you guys have helped this channel grow. We're on course to hit 100,000 subscribers by next month. Unfriggin' believable. Thank you all so much. Whenever you like, comment, favourite and share my content, you help this channel grow and allow me to spend more time making these videos. Videos. Seriously, thank you for being fucking awesome. Now, if you want more Destiny content, click here. You'll find literally hundreds of videos. And before I go, remember to vote in the poll I mentioned earlier in the video. You'll find the link in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. And as always, until next time, Guardians. <laughs>